Hello, I'm Hal Ottaway with the Wichita Postcard Club, and it's time once again for a Wichita Postcard of the Week. We haven't had any for a while, but we'll give this one a whirl today. You know, part of the fun of collecting postcards, or at least real photo postcards, is to think back that these are images that somebody took a camera out outside, made some pictures, and took that camera and the film and everything to be processed, and they were returned to them with a postcard back. And that's what we collect today and uh, have become uh, such a, a boon to collecting and uh, to postcard collecting in, in particular. Before that, people wanted Santa Clauses and they wanted ducks dressed in people clothes, all kinds of topics and, and things. But real photo postcards oftentimes uh, bring about uh, a sense of discovery and, and, and a new way of uh, looking at things. Let's take a look at the uh, postcard that I've chosen for today. It shows a man, uh, kind of a rear view, of showing him pulling with a team of mules. We can tell that because of the big ears, you see. And he's in between. He's sitting on a, a seat and he is uh, controlling the mules just ahead of him. Behind them is some kind of a thing that we don't know exactly what it is, but it's being pulled. It would appear that it has is weighted and would be a good can smasher if you uh, had that to uh, run over a bunch of cans that you were going to recycle or, or uh, be able to uh, send to a, a plant someplace to be processed. But this appears to be a farmyard, or uh, and you can see buildings in the background, and you can see at least three other horse-drawn conveyances to the side. We can't see enough of them to say that, well, that's a cedar, or that's a, well, we know it's not a they're probably not plows, but all kinds of things that were horse-drawn, uh, we just don't, uh, we're not able to recognize them in this case. But this uh, smoother, somebody called it a, uh, a smoother, but you can see that since it's weighted, it would have uh, been able to smash down the ground and to, not to level it particularly, but to... Uh, give it an evenness, perhaps. Maybe this man was working on uh, developing and and a uh, roadway from the uh, road outside into his farmyard. We're just not sure. But uh, some of you uh, smart folks out there that are watching this uh, video, they'll say, "Oh, well, that's a so and so," and I knew I had my dad had one of those. I'd love for you to get in touch with me and tell me all about it. That's part of the uh, joy of, uh, of collecting is learning more and being able to identify uh, what we're looking at. A lot of times uh, collectors will, uh, I have a whole section of homes uh, that uh, have been sent from some by, someplace here in Wichita. It has a Wichita postmark, but that was a big deal to go out and take a picture of your house and then send it to somebody and say, this is our place, or this is where I'm living, or this is my aunt's place, and that sort of thing. And so those are fun to run down and find out what the address might have been, and if it's still standing, or if it's a uh, parking lot today, all those kinds of uh, answers that might uh, be determined. But in this case, it's some kind of uh, an implement that this uh, farmer uh, probably, or, you know, the guy could have been a bookkeeper on uh, during the day, and this may have been taken on weekends. It doesn't matter, but it's uh, something interesting. It's different, and uh, 
I look forward to your uh, telling me about it, if you can help identify or tell more about what's happening here. If so, we'll uh, talk about it again sometime with uh, what you've told me and uh, what I've learned. That's it for today. Please like us on YouTube and on Facebook, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.